Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a drill of microbiological culture media. By drill, I mean that in the first half of the video, I am going to be telling you the important culture media, selective media, enrichment media, transport media for gram negative bacteria. And in the latter half, you are going to go through the exercise of trying to recall whatever information I have given you in the earlier half of the video. OK, so basically I'm going to give you questions. I'm going to bombard you with questions one by one, then give you two seconds to remember the answer and then I will give you the answer. Right. So you can rate yourself according to your performance in this session. So let's get going. Thayer Martin medium modified Thayer Martin medium and New York City media. These are selective media for the pathogenic Neisseria species, that is Neisseria meningitidis and Neisseria gonori. All these three contain certain set of antibiotics, but I want you to remember the antibiotics present in modified Thayer Martin medium. You can remember them by this mnemonic, very typically cultures Neisseria, the first letter of each of these words, vancomycin, trimethoprim, cholestine, and nystatin. Stewart's medium and Amy's medium. These are the transport media for Neisseria. The only difference between them is if we add charcoal to Stewart's medium, it is called as Amy's medium. McConkie medium, a very commonly used medium in our laboratory. This is a mildly selective medium for gram negative bacilli. I said mildly selective because some gram positives like Staph aureus and Enterococci can form tiny colonies on this medium. Now McConkie is a mildly selective medium for only the non fastidious gram negative bacilli because the fastidious ones would require extra nutrition in the form of blood, egg or serum, all of which are absent in McConkie medium. So what is present in McConkie? You can remember the mnemonic P L A N D. Peptone, lactose, agar, neutral red and sodium torocolate. So sodium torocolate is that bile salt which is going to inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria and the neutral red and lactose have been added to make McConkie a differential medium. So what does it differentiate lactose fermenting from non lactose fermenting gram negative bacilli. So when lactose gets broken down acid is produced, the neutral red indicator turns bright pink or magenta in color. Otherwise, it remains colorless. So non lactose fermenters will produce pale colonies on this medium. One thing to memorize here is which are the important lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria. So the lactose fermenters you can remember by the mnemonic C E E K Cytobacter. Escherichia coli, Enterobacter and Klebsiella, they seek lactose, whereas the non lactose fermenters are Proteus, Shigella, Salmonella and Yersinia. These are Enterobacteria members and then we have Vibrio and Pseudomonas. Instead of McConkie, some people prefer to use Eocene methylene blue agar, in short called as EMB agar. The purpose is absolutely the same, mildly selective for non fastidious gram negative bacilli. This is also a differential medium. Non lactose fermenters will produce pale colonies on this medium. Lactose fermenting will produce purple colonies. Some of them may produce a greenish metallic sheen around the purple colonies. Sorbitol McConkie agar. The moment you hear S Mac or Sorbitol McConkie, think of E. coli O157H7 identification because this is the only serotype of E. coli which does not ferment or utilize sorbitol, right? So instead of lactose, 
we have sorbitol in this medium and O157H7 will produce pale colored colonies on this medium. All the other pathogenic or non-pathogenic E. coli will produce bright pink colonies on SMAC. Deoxycholate citrate agar, xylose lysine deoxycholate medium, salmonella shigella agar and hectoin enteric agar. All these are selective media for shigella and it will produce pale colonies on all of them. And if to the same, we just add Wilson and Blair bismuth sulfide medium, that gives us the list for the selective media for salmonella. And if we are asked which is the best selective medium for salmonella, it's a Wilson and Blair bismuth sulfide medium. On all these cultured media, salmonella produce black colored colonies because they produce H2S. Kerry Blair medium is the transport medium that we use for Shigella and Salmonella. In fact, Kerry Blair is considered as the universal stool transport medium. And also for Shigella and Salmonella, we can use the transport medium, Sachs buffered glycerol saline. Selenite F broth is the enrichment medium for Salmonella and Shigella. Enrichment medium is basically a liquid selective medium. And tetrathionate broth, this is the enrichment medium for only Salmonella. Cephsulodine irgasan novobiosin agar, in short written as CIN agar, this is the selective medium for Yersinia. Cetrimide agar is the selective medium for Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, apart from being resistant to many antibiotics, is resistant to several chemical disinfectants also, including cetrimide, which is a surface acting disinfectant. Ashdown selective medium is the selective medium for Burkholderia pseudomaly, the causative agent of melioidosis. Skiros medium, Butzler's medium, CVA, cefoperazone, vancomycin, amphotericin B medium, all these are selective media for Campylobacter. And for a closely related bacterium, Helicobacter, we use skiros. Bile salt agar, monsoons GTTA, that is gelatin, triptychase, torocolate agar, and thiosulfate, citrate, bile salt, sucrose agar, in short TCBS. This, these are the selective media for Vibrio. Out of these, the commonly used one is TCBS. We'll talk more about it. But before that, remember, Vibrios are alkali files. The pH of all these culture media is 8.2 to 8.4. So TCBS, that S is sucrose, it has been incorporated to make it a differential medium. We can differentiate the sucrose fermenting Vibrios on this medium, which form yellow colored colonies. So Vibrio cholerae is a sucrose fermenter and many Vibrio species are non-sucrose fermenting. They will produce either pale colonies or dark green colored colonies on this medium. Venkat Raman Ramakrishnan medium, Kerry Blair medium, autoclaved seawater. These are transport media for Vibrios and alkaline peptone water, monsoons broth, these are both transport media as well as enrichment media for Vibrios. Bordet Gengu medium and Regan Lobes medium. These are selective media for Borditella pertussis. Chocolate agar, Leventhal's medium, Files agar. These are culture media which are all containing lysed RBCs. These are used for growing 
Haemophilus because Haemophilus requires X factor and V factor to grow. The V factor is trapped inside the RBCs. To release that, we need some lysed RBCs. All these contain the lysed RBCs. And I hope you all remember that Haemophilus shows satellitism and that is demonstrated on blood agar with staph aureus streak. Sorry, by mistake I've written chocolate agar. It should be blood agar with staph aureus streak around which we will see Haemophilus colonies growing. The reason I hope you know is that staph aureus lyses the RBCs wherever it is growing. So that is going to provide the V factor for Haemophilus. Buffered charcoal yeast extract agar. This is the selective medium for Legionella pneumophila. Very important medium. Pleuropneumonia like organism that is PPLO agar and PPLO broth. These are used for growing mycoplasmas. And mycoplasmas, these lack cell wall. That's why we use penicillin as the selective agent to inhibit the growth of the unwanted bacteria. And another selective medium in PPLO medium is thallium acetate. So remember penicillin and thallium acetate will inhibit the unwanted bacteria, allow mycoplasmas to grow. EMGH, Korthoff's, Fletcher's and Stewart's media. These are media used for isolating leptospira. Barber, Stoner, Kelly medium or simply Kelly medium or BSK medium. This is the medium used for isolating Borrelia. So now it is going to be your turn to answer my queries to you regarding the things that we have just learned previously. So my first question to you is antibiotics in modified Thayer Martin medium. Two seconds to remember them. Very typically cultures Neisseria, vancomycin, trimethoprim, cholestine and nystatin. Selective agent in McConkie. Sodium torocolate. Pink colonies on Mac are produced by CEEK, Citrobacter, Enterobacter, Escherichia coli, Klebsiella. Pale colonies on S. Mac produced by E. coli O157H7. Differential medium for Vibrio. TCBS medium on which remember Vibrio cholerae sucrose fermenting. Selective medium for Pseudomonas. Cetrimide agar. BSK medium used for Borrelia. Selective agents in PPLO medium. Penicillin and thallium acetate. Ashdown medium used for Burkholderia pseudomatic. Tetrathionate broth. Enrichment for only salmonella. Difference between Amy's and Stewart's. Amy's contains added charcoal. Regan low medium used for Bordetella pertussis. Universal stool transport medium. Carry play. EMB agar used for it's a mildly selective medium for gram-negative bacilli, which are non-fastidious, and it is a differential medium. Proteus on EMB agar will form which color colonies? Proteus is a non-lactose fermenter, so it will form pale colonies. Alkaline peptone water used for 
enrichment and transport of most selective medium for salmonella wilson and blair medium we have reached the end of our session today if you have learned something from it you have found it informative don't forget to press the like button bye bye